Hey guys, my name is Ryan and welcome to Overwatch Central. Today we've got a bit more news to cover actually in a roundup three main areas, one of which being basically a Reinhardt nerf that people have been waiting for and expecting for a bit too long. Something that Shofar said about Doomfist that I really wanted to sort of bring up, not only from a Twitch clip, but also a response to said clip. And also a really good idea for Hammonds that I saw that would be a huge quality of life change that I actually saw just browsing the slash new section of r slash overwatch and we'll go over why that's a big thing there now we'll go over the first main thing i suppose no doubt the thing that people are wanting to hear about the most and that is that the reinhardt voice line from the summer games the touchdown one has been somewhat nerfed on the ptr instead of me talking about what the change is just listen for yourself starting with live and then the ptr So this is a change that I think people have been expecting for quite some time. For those who don't know, people deemed the touchdown voice line for the Earthshatter on this skin to be incredibly strong because it doesn't really give you a good indication of when the hammer's about to hit the ground. It's very quick and because of that it's hard to gauge when the hammer down part is going to come because it just goes touchdown and hits the floor. Now it's a little bit better. I wouldn't inherently say, considering that I've played with and against people with the skin on the PTR and speaking to those that have the skin that I know, they've all said it's still a little bit too strong so it might just be a placebo effect but i do find it interesting that people are still saying that the skin is fairly strong with its voice line lion deserves a big shout out for getting us this footage he's a friend of ours and me nor miska have that skin so it was really helpful to try and test this out but do let us know what you think do you think it's enough of a nerf to this voice line or do you feel it's still going to be strong especially those that have played on the ptr with said skin now i want to go over something sheriff said the la gladiators dps player on why doomfist isn't overpowered and how you should counter him. How do you avoid getting headshot from the Widow? Well, you either play around shields, or you manipulate it where you can hide and still be effective without her getting any sight lines on you. How do you be effective against Doom? Well, you either shoot him a lot so he can never get into a position to E you, or you dodge his E. Or you play around each other and have Zarya bubble you, or you sleep dart him, or you just focus him hard. But. Most people just like looking at the Rhine shield or the monkey and shooting a shield for five hours and then they get eat and punched and they're like, why is this, this, this character is overpowered? Why is this happening? Now, I think one of the biggest complaints with this clip is it comes off as quite flippant. Just the whole sort of just sleep dart in forehead, just do this, you know, it's that easy. We all know how oppressive a good Doomfist can be. But Shofar added into the comments of this on r slash competitive overwatch where this clip was posted to sort of go into a little bit more depth on this instead of just taking the 44 second clip at face value. Doomfist is not overpowered. He's just strong in the same sense that any other hero at a specific meta was strong for. Because more brig and more sustainable comps such as goats have been played, he is able to get a lot more damage through without unnecessarily risking himself. The same way that Genji and Tracer were powerful for so long. They could get damage in without necessarily risking their own lives. Doomfist requires specific setups to do the crazy he came out of nowhere and killed me, and he thrives off high ground. So one of the biggest things you can do to stop Dooms from doing whatever they want is taking away that high ground. Now the Doomfist has to take more straight lined engages that are more predictable and easier to see. He then goes on to say that Doomfist can thrive without necessarily requiring blatant teamwork. People don't like the idea of getting solo killed by him, but to avoid that you need to keep tabs on them and as soon as you ignore their existence, you are going to randomly die. So he denies space, make his engagements more telegraphed, focus shields and heal on targets, and pressure him a lot before he can even do anything. And I feel that like we haven't really spoken about countering Doomfist. I'll Doomfist a lot on the channel. I think that he is a really strong pick, definitely has the biggest carry potential individually in ranked play. And because of that, it's very difficult to know how to deal with him. He hasn't been meta for a long time. So now that he's seemingly come up quite significantly in the meta, at least at the higher tiers where people could do some crazy stuff with him, that can be difficult to try and invert come as counter him without just you know going for cc picks like mccree anna and brigitte i think this is a really good idea if you want to count a doomfist take the high ground take away that space that he wants to use to set up a jump on you and finally this is a post that i don't really think got a lot of upvotes but i really really like the idea this was posted by cryo cupcake and it's asking could wrecking ball get a sound effect for reloading when he's in his ball so for those that don't know when wrecking ball uses all his ammo he reloads like every other character when he's out of ball form it's easy to to see and hear that he's doing that. However, if you use some of your ammo up, for example, and then go to ball form, after a couple of seconds, it will reload automatically for you. The issue that was brought up here is that there's no way to really know that unless you look in the bottom right. I don't know if I'm the only person that's been in that situation where you've shot all of your ammo clip, 
as Wrecking Ball. Gone into ball form to try and get away and maybe reload, but as soon as you come out of ball form and try and shoot somebody, the reload cycle starts. It's very annoying and it's very difficult to gauge how much time has passed to know when your guns have automatically reloaded. So it would be nice to just hear a sound or see a little effect on screen to know that your weapon has been reloaded instead of looking in the bottom right because if there's so much stuff happening on screen, you could look away for a split second and get killed. So this is one of those really big quality of life issues that I think would make Hammond feel a lot more smoother. One of the biggest complaints is of course is how much ammo he has, how clunky it feels to reload a lot of the time. And I think that this would just be a nice change and get people into the habit a little bit more of shooting, using all your ammo clip going into ball form to move around, waiting for it to reload, you can see it or hear it, then coming back out and shooting again. I think it would just help out players tremendously and so I really want to see this in the game, please Blizzard let me know. But that's everything I wanted to go over in today's video, three main talking points across the community, the Reinhardt voice line has been effectively nerfed, it's not as strong as it used to be, but it's still fairly strong. What do you think of that? What do you think of Show 4, what he said about Doomfist, or do you think Doomfist is a little bit overpowered? And finally, what do you think of the Hammond idea? I think it'd be really good, it'd be nice to see it in game. Thanks for watching, have a good weekend guys, like and subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, take care, we'll see you then.